der weiße Hirsch. Es gingen drei Jäger wohl auf die Pirsch. Sie wollten erjagen den weißen Hirsch. Sie legten sich unter den Tannenbaum. Da hatten die drei einen seltsamen Traum. Human beings are mammals. This was true before we were hunters or gatherers or cultivators or inventors. It was before we imagined living life separated from nature, before the opportunities to experience it became so distant and so rare. This is the third strand in our memory chain, a panorama of the Southern Indiana Fox Hunting Association during their annual week-long retreat in October 1926. As you might expect, the front row of this commemorative portrait is reserved for the group's most prominent members. There's obviously a lot of love on display here. These foxhounds never call them dogs, considered the two-legged creatures who provided them meals to be the greatest hunters in the pack. Rest assured, the feeling was mutual. After all, the entire purpose of this endeavor relied on these hounds as much as it did on the fox. The rich diversity of the natural world is present in both the variety of hunted prey and the many breeds who track their scent. Foxhounds are capable of covering miles of open ground for as long as 10 hours, constantly sounding the alarm to guide the hunters. Bird dogs, on the other hand, are trained to be silent and stealthy in their pursuit. Mir hat geträumt, ich klopfte auf den Busch. Genau. Da rauschte der Hirsch heraus. Genau. Husch, husch. Und als er sprang mit dem Hunde geklafft, da brannte ich ihm auf das Fell. Piff, paff. Und als ich den Hirsch auf der Erde sah, da stieß ich lustig ins Horn. Ra, ra. Good girl. Good girl. Before 1800, the land east of the Mississippi was still a vast wilderness. Elk, bison, black bear, and gray wolves roamed freely. Over the next century, unregulated hunting and a steady loss of habitat eliminated these species and diminished the population of many others. Increasingly, progress was demanding more and more resource from nature and offering less care and awareness in return. This annual meeting of the Southern Indiana Fox Hunting Association was the 16th in the group's history. It will probably not surprise you that their 50th anniversary in 1960 was never celebrated. Over time, the fox, the quail, and many other wild things in Indiana would become almost as elusive as the white stag. So lagen sie da und sprachen die drei. Da rannte der weiße Hirsch vorbei. Und eh die Jäger ihn recht gesehen, da war er davon über Tiefen und Höhen. Husch, husch, biff, baff, trara! Hush, hush. Bang, bang, Tarillaloo. Much like the three hunters, we all seemed to be dreaming as nature passed us by. And then it was gone.
The White Stag. A poem by Ludwig Uhland. Read by B. Khan and Roxanne Nagaski.